So that's it. England won. Hungary won. Uh, and a bit of a very, well, a bit of a very frustrating game. Again, once again, an international break with England ending on a frustrating note. We've been here before many a times. Uh, I, I wanted to react to this game because there's there's a lot of talking points. I think there's a lot of talking points, and you know I'm I'm fully with this like England narrative. You know we've followed it now. I mean obviously we've followed it for years, but we've followed like the last couple of years have really meant a lot. So watching England now feels special, but then just games like today and just so frustrating. The lineup was exactly what you kind of want to see. You want to see Mount, you want to see Foden, you don't want to see a back five, you don't want to see double pivots, too defensive. You want to see exciting lineups, but today it just, it didn't work. And and that isn't Southgate's fault, but what is, is his in-game management. It was it was poor today. It was very poor. Um, some decisions were so stupid. Like, for me, Harry Kane had an absolute stinker. He did. Um, you can't, you can't say he didn't. Like, he wasn't playing well. He's not all there in the head at the moment. You can kind of just tell with club form and now international form. So, it's it's tough. Because he's the captain, it's hard to take a man like him off. But And I know he eventually did, but it was like 20 minutes too late. You could see that Kane wasn't getting it done and he needed to come off. Um, so, yeah, and then, and then the other one is just why the fuck has Jack Grealish come off? He was our best attacking player by far. Sterling and Kane did nothing. Sterling and Kane were doing absolutely nothing. Um, they weren't offering anything. And then Grealish was getting the ball. He was making runs. He was trying to get ones and twos going between Mount and Foden. Uh, and he brought him off for Saka. Now, I don't think Saka's a bad player, but Gareth Southgate really seems to love Saka, and I don't really know why. Uh, good player, great player. Not as good as Grealish. Brought nothing to the game, brought less to the game than what Grealish was. So it's it's just a bizarre decision, and then obviously waiting too long to bring on, um, bring off Harry Kane, and also no Sancho, who had one of the best games in a while uh, in the last match, and he's just sat there on the bench, and yeah, so just Southgate's in game management is is worrying. That's his biggest flaw as a manager. I think he set us up really well today. Hungary countered that really well, and all props to the team. Um, because they played really well. But then we just in game can't you know can't seem to sort it out. You know that's what Thomas Tuchel was amazing at. So as a Chelsea fan, I'm used to seeing him bring on a fucking player like Ross Barkley and the whole game changed. So, but yeah, like I just think that's where the worry lies with this England team and and Gareth. But that's not to say that Gareth needs to leave. Um, I hate that narrative. Look what the guys could done in the international tournaments. Um, yeah, he just needs to sort that out. But that's it. That's my thoughts on that game. Another frustrating end to an international break. Uh, another long, drawn-out international break. We always struggle with content during these, so thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching this if you are. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it. Bring back the fucking Premier League. It's coming back finally. Can't wait. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Really appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Uh, tell you that.